We welcome all parishioners and visitors as we prepare to celebrate the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Parish NFL Survivor Pool Fundraiser will once again take place to raise funds for World Youth Day and sending our youth to Lisbon. Contact Father Rico or Andrew in the parish office for more details. The dates for Father Rico's next pilgrimage have been announced. We will be leading a group to Italy to visit Rome and other holy sites next September. Contact the parish office for more details. We are in need of volunteers to prepare meals for the next Alpha session, scheduled to begin on Thursday, October the 6th. We are also in need of youth volunteers to help distribute Operation Christmas shoe boxes the weekend of October 1st and 2nd. Please call the parish office if you're able to help out. Our parish picnic will take place next Sunday, September 11, after the noon Mass. If you have not signed up to attend with your payment of $5 for either a hot dog or a hamburger, drink and chips, the deadline to do so is this Tuesday. The Knights of Columbus will be having a bottle drive on Saturday, September the 10th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. All empty liquor cans and bottles are accepted. Our celebrant today is Father Rico. Please stand and join in our processional hymn. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell our hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall end division. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong and true. Where all God's children dare to see, to dream God's reign anew. Shall stand as witness and a symbol of God's grace. There is one we claim the faith of Jesus. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where love is found in water. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather in this holy place in praise and worship of our amazing God at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Father Charles Gagne and Jeanette Matza. I invite all the special friends of Jesus to come forward for our children's liturgy. Come on down, friends. Wow, Darcy, look at that. That's fantastic. Okay, friends, I got some awesome news. While summer is coming to an end, God promises that this school year is going to be totally awesome. Today we're going to learn about how awesome our God is and how much bigger he is than we think he is, okay? So let's thank God for all that he does for us. Ready? 
we're going to ask God to bless you. So we make the sign of the cross on our bodies, right? May Almighty God bless you, friends, as you learn about his love, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to follow the leader here. Children go to hear good word. Children go to hear good news. Children go with joy to hear God's word. Children go to hear good news. Friends, for the times we fail to see the big picture that God always sees, for the times where we have claimed that God is far from us, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy for Indeed, God is our source of strength and refuge. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are happy to die on the cross to free us from our sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Now risen from the dead, you lead us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved daughters and sons, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. For who can learn the counsel of God? Or who can discern what the Lord wills? For the reasoning of mortals is worthless, and our designs are likely to fail. For a perishable body weighs down the soul, and this earthly tent burdens the thoughtful mind. We can hardly guess at what is on earth, and what is at hand we find with labor. But who has traced out what is in the heavens? Who has learned your counsel unless you have given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high? And thus, the paths of those on earth were set right, and people were taught what pleases you and were saved by wisdom. The word of the Lord. you have 
have been our dwelling place in all generations. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of man, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday now that it is past or as a watch of the night lord you have been our dwelling place in all generations you make an end of them in their sleep the next morning they are like the changing grass which at dawn springs up anew but by evening wilts and fades lord you have been our dwelling place in all generations teach us to number our days aright that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O oh Lord, how long have pity on your servant. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days and may the gracious care of the lord our god be ours prosper the work of our hands for us prosper the work of our hands lord you have been our dwelling place in all generations A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I, Paul, do this as an old man, and now also as a prisoner of Christ Jesus. I am appealing to you for my child Onesimus, whose father I have become during my imprisonment. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I wanted to keep him with me so that he might be of service to me in your place during my imprisonment of the gospel. But I preferred to do nothing without your consent in order that your good deed might be voluntary and not something forced. Perhaps this is the reason he was separated from you for a while so that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your fire face shine upon us, your servant, and teach me, me your statutes. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate their father and mother, spouse and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and even their life itself cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether they have enough to complete it? Whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Once one has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule them, saying, This person began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going out to wage war against another king will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with 20,000? If he cannot, then while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for terms of peace. So therefore, whoever of you does not give up all their possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The majesty, wisdom, and knowledge of God far surpasses human understanding. This gentle reminder in our first reading that Willie proclaimed for us is a reminder that these weekend's scriptures talk about the big picture that God sees and how it's important for each of us to realize that while we think we see the big picture, we don't. We often look like this, or I'm going to be really honest, like this. We see so little, and yet we think that that's everything because we don't understand big picture. All we speak to is our own experience, which is this. Then we start to question God. Why is this happening? When God sees this and says, just hang in there a minute. Just trust me. I see everything, and I have your back. I've always had your back, as the psalm says. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. God having our back, this is something we can rely on. I can't rely on human beings. They're going to let me down. They're going to let you down. They already have. But God is faithful, and his majesty is unparalleled, can never be outdone. And as Willie proclaimed for us, it is the Holy Spirit who reveals this to us so when we come to shake our head, yeah, yeah, I know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what does it mean for us? When we look at ourselves and our lives, friends, are we living according what Jesus commands in the gospel? If you wish to be my disciple, you must take up your cross and follow me. Then he talks about hating parent, spouse, child. This is what Jesus spoke of a few weeks ago. I have come to bring division. Not the division that you and I participate in, friends. Somebody doesn't talk to me, I can cut them out of my family very easily. It's not what he's talking about. God needs to be number one. My podcast today speaks of the scripture of John the Baptist that reveals and points to Jesus. In a few weeks, you'll hear my series on the Ten Commandments that we say we know up here, but are we following? And the first of the commandments is what? What is it? With all your heart, God needs to be number one. God needs to be number one for us. Because he's the only one who, number one, deserves to be number one. And number two, he's the one who has our back. He's the king of creation. No matter what comes in our life, friends, 
Nothing should be an excuse for not having him as number one. Think of in the Old Testament. One of the best examples we have is Job. The devil felt, oh yeah, his faith in God is strong because things are going well. I'm going to continue to attack him. God says, go for it. He's not going to waver. And the devil attacked him. External things, health, even his wife ridiculed him for his faith in God. And what does Job say? You say what you want, but I will remain faithful to God. And Job is somebody who we look up to. Doesn't play the victim card. Doesn't ask God, why me? He accepts. He moves on knowing that God has his back. Because he knows the truth. And we should know the truth too. But let's face it, friends, in the face of adversity, how many of us challenge God? Where are you? Why are you letting this happen to me? God, I do this and this and this for you. I mean, I expect, I expect, right? Just like through the pandemic. How many of us prayed? Where are these people? You're still alive. I'm still alive. Why aren't we at Mass? We expect that God is going to protect us. And then where's our Thanksgiving? Right? This happens all the time. God remains faithful. We have given him many examples of how he could turn his back on us, and he says, no, I love you beyond the hurt. He teaches us how to be. This is why Jesus says, it only makes sense. Place your trust in someone who never breaks your trust. And that is God alone. It's God alone. And that God never sets us up to fail. How many homilies have I said that to us? We need to hear it over and over and over. It's not something I just have to hear. It's something I have to trust in. And that, friends, the priesthood, we are not exempt from crosses and trials. You might think I have the best life in the world, and maybe I do. I'm a very happy priest, to be quite frank. But I'm going to talk about a, a brother priest who's struggling in health right now, Father Charles Moser, who I'm going to ask for your prayers. I am his executor and power of attorney, a dear friend, a faithful brother. Father Charles said to me last January, we thought we were going to lose him. And he said to me, Rico, you know what I struggle with most? I said, what, Charles? He said, I really miss serving my people. I entered the priesthood and I just expected I was going to serve all the way. He had to have an early retirement due to health. And he said, you know, I was just so was struggling with this idea of I expected my life to go this way. And yet God invited me to connect my suffering with his suffering. Father Charles has gone through significant suffering this year since January. And now he's back in hospital and in rough shape. So it's going to happen to priests. It's going to happen to faithful people like Job. It's going to happen to faithful people like you. And yet as things come... We need to embrace the cross as Jesus did. Recall what he said in the Garden of Gethsemane, friends. Father, if this is your will, let this cup pass me by. But if not, thy will be done. A faithful friend of God is one that does not run from the cross, but pleads with God to assist that person with carrying the cross. That's what Jesus wants for each of us. At, at times, friends, life can be extremely difficult. Yet in the face of adversity, we are not to run from it, but rather, Lord, help me to not only carry my cross, but to help me un to understand why you've allowed this to happen. God allowed what happened to Job to not only help him and his family, but to inspire us thousands of years down the road. How many of us have had to face crosses like St. Paul does in the second reading, and he sends his son Onesimus to help the people? He sends this letter to bring hope to the early church. This letter is read to us to bring hope to the current church. And it's an invitation for us, friends, to really enter in, to realize I'm not alone. The poem, Footprints in the Sand, when things are going great, there's two footprints. When things get tough, there's one set of footprints. God, where are you? I'm carrying you. I'm carrying you. You think I'm going to leave you high and dry? 
Again, friends, we see like this. God sees like this. And how many times when we look back on our life, we start to see just parts of the bigger picture and say, Lord, you're amazing. Lord, you pushed me. Lord, you challenged me. Lord, you brought me great joy. And now look where it has left me. God will bring us to something and promises to see us through it. A God of accompaniment, as our Holy Father continues to remind us. So friends, as I look to Father Charles, as I look at you, as your pastor, many of you share some of your crosses with me. You ask for prayer, sometimes leaving me in the dark to what your cross is, and that's fine. It's between you and he who is the source of all life. But what a privilege it is to walk with people and to remind you, as so many of you are witness for me, to realize that God is here, God is near, God is dear to us. Let's not get discouraged. Let's not struggle with what we see, but ask God to help us to see the big picture to trust that his will will always be done and that by his will we will be saved. Let us openly receive the people like St. Paul and Onesimus who God sends in our lives to help us, to inspire us, to lift us up, but that we also don't get so stuck in the victim card, the woe is me card, that we see our own crosses as, as burdensome that restrict us from being for other. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. May we never forget that, friends. Whether it's a joyful day or a difficult one, God is with you. Cling to your cross and realize that God is by your side. confident in a God who walks with us every day of our lives, we place our faith in him as we proudly profess. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for our, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we pray to God, our loving Father, who welcomes us as his own children to give us the strength to meet the demands which genuine Christianity places on us each day. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who lead the Church of God that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit in the decisions they make to build a better world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for ourselves that we may not turn our back on suffering, but accept the crosses that come our way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the needs of the homeless and wounded and all countries affected by war, leading to broken families and shattered lives. We pray for an end to hostilities and pray for lasting peace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and neglected, that they may have the courage to persevere in their sufferings, especially Joan Martinello, Sarah Louch, Mary Roycroft, Carolyn Daniel, Anna Zarconi, Joanne Moore, Father Charles Moser. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our deceased relatives and friends who have shouldered Christ's cross in this world, especially Jim Long, Joe Reintes, Aline McKay, Father Tom Villeneuve, Martin Schneider, Anna Gogic, Gloria Demers, Steve McCree, George Matli Asovich, Pia Zavarella, Vito Bamarito, Tom Kent, Gemma Branganola, Keith Seabrook. May they now enjoy eternal happiness in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We also pray for Jeanette Mazza and Father Charles Gagné. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our new school year, for students, teachers, support staff, and all who support education, that God may bless them as we instruct their young minds, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. God, our Father, you know the many different needs we have in this life. Give us the courage to take up our daily crosses and follow in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus, trusting that you are a God who never abandons, but always accompanies us. We make these in all prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. 
It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world, and you govern all things in harmony. You give us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son you gather women and men whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Holy Spirit. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the angels we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. At this Mass, we use Eucharistic prayer for Masses and various needs, number three. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, Jesus, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. By Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son and our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, deacons, women religious, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all people, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. We remember Father Gagne and Jeanette and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, O God, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and martyrs, with Job, Saint Paul, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Take away 
Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. through 
the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my living hope. You could imagine so great a mercy. What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to wear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. The King of kings calls salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Then came the morning that sealed the promise, your buried body began to breathe. Out of the silence, the roaring lion declared the claim on me. Gave the morning that sealed the promise, your buried body began to breathe. Out of the silence, the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me. Jesus, yours is the victory. on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Christ, my living hope, Jesus Christ, my living hope, God, you are my living To 
this I hold, my shepherd will defend me. Through the deepest valley he will lead me. Oh, the night has been won, and I shall overcome, yet not I, but through Christ in me. No fate I dread, I know I am sure the price it has been paid for Jesus bled and suffered for my part and he was raised to overthrow the grave to this I hold my sin has been defeated Jesus now and ever is my plea all oh, the chains are released I can say I am free, yet not I, but through Christ in me. With every breath, I long to follow Jesus, for he has said that he will bring me home. And day by day, I know he will renew me, until I stand with joy before I hold, my hope is only Jesus, all the glory evermore to Him. When the race is complete, our voices I repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus, all the glory evermore to Him. When the race is complete, still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in Him. When the race is complete, still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in Him. Yet not I, but through Christ in me. Yet not I, but through Christ Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us turn to our blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Say, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. Friends, with the school year beginning, we continue to keep in our prayers all those attached to education, students, staff, support staff, administrators, all involved in education in our prayers as we continue to ask the Holy Spirit to shape their young minds. We also have lots happening in our parish this week. This coming Saturday is our bottle drive with the Knights of Columbus, so bring all your empties on Saturday to the parish, please, and continue to support the great work that our Knights do. Next Sunday, as long as it doesn't look like today, we hope to have a parish barbecue. Otherwise, I'll be canceling them until Christmas. 
you know, you're going to think, Father Rico really just doesn't want a barbecue. Oh, no, trust me, I do. I want to feed all of you and get the food out of my freezers, to be quite frank. So let's hope that the Lord helps us with, we don't need it to be a sunny day, just not a rainy one next Sunday. So after the 10.30 and 12 noon Masses next week, the parish parking lot will be closed. So don't next week when you come to the church, park at Blessed Trinity, please, if you're going to 10.30 or 12 next week, so it can help me and the team set up on our parish grounds. Also, the NFL starts this week, Thursday, with my Buffalo Bills invading the Rams. Those of you who have not yet participated in our NFL Survivor Pool, which is a fundraiser to send our young people to World Youth Day, the deadline is this week. So make sure that you sign up, and then we'll see who the final survivor is for this parish. Last year, it was somebody who was not a parishioner. So I'm not going to lie, I was only a little excited. I'm hoping it's one of you if it's not going to be me. I'm hoping it's one of you. So make sure that you sign up with Andrew or I in the office. It's a lot of fun. Even Tracy, our secretary, who doesn't watch the NFL, she joined, and she did really good, too. So you never have to be a big NFL fan. That's the beauty of these pools. Anyone can win. Hopefully it's you. I really want it to be me so I can just donate it all to World Youth Day. I'm not going to lie. But if it can't be me, I hope it's you. All right, friends? I also want your prayers for Father Charles, please. He's going through a rough time, and uh, we don't know if the Lord's going to call him or if the Lord's going to heal him. Either way, whatever God's will be done, but as I visit him again tomorrow, I'm going to bring him your prayers, and I thank you as we pray for a very faithful priest who has not yet served this community of St. Joseph, but as chancellor, former chancellor of our diocese has served our whole diocese well, and Father Charles is a faithful friend of the Lord. And so as family of the Diocese of St. Catharines, we lift to him in our prayers, and I thank you for that. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Wonder in most everything I see. Not a cloud in the sky, got the sun in my eyes, and I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Everything I want the world to be is now coming true, especially for me. And the reason is clear, it's because God is near. He's the nearest thing to heaven that I I'm on the top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation I can find is the love that I found ever since God's been around. His love's put me at the top of the world. Something in the wind has no mind and it's telling me that things are not the same. And the leaves and the trees and the touch of the breeze There's a pleasing sense of happiness for me There is only one wish on my mind And this day is true, I hope that I will find That tomorrow will be just the same for you and me All I need will be mine cause God is here on the top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation I can find is the love that I found ever since God's been around his love's put me at the top of the world I'm on the top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation I can find is the love Put me at the top of the